Breaking news, nearly 50 suspected migrants discovered dead inside a San Antonio, Texas tractor trailer in what appears to be one of the deadliest human smuggling incidents in recent U.S. history. Let's get right to our Christian Cordero, who joins us live with the late breaking details. Christian. Well, David, in recent decades, thousands of people have died trying to cross the U.S. border from Mexico. The road from there to San Antonio is among the busiest for that type of travel. And this tragedy tonight is among the deadliest. In San Antonio tonight, officials are counting the bodies by the dozens, with 46 people having lost their lives and 16 more fighting for theirs. 12 of those are adults and four pediatric. All of them were conscious at the time upon transportation. Fire Chief Charles Hood believes everyone who died is an adult. All children who were in the truck are so far alive. The call came in just before 6 p.m. local time when someone in the area heard a cry for help, then found the trailer and those inside of it. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. Three people tonight are in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. Um, this investigation has been turned over to HSI. Homeland Security Investigations has not released any information about where exactly the truck or the people inside of it came from. The police chief tonight classifies it as a presumed migrant smuggling. San Antonio's mayor called it a horrific human tragedy, echoed by its fire chief for everyone impacted. We're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. So we're working through the uh, behavioral health for our folks right now. Now, we understand that there were both men and women in that truck. Uh, the fire chief described the children there as teenagers, young adults, and because nobody seems to know exactly how many people were traveling total, it's hard to say if everyone is accounted for. And so the plan, according to the police chief, is to comb through the woods in that area with canines as soon as they get some daylight tomorrow morning. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.